Let's see what is Larmor frequency. It is the rotational frequency. It is the rotational frequency of the nuclear magnetic noise. Larmor frequency is represented by W naught. It is a rotational frequency of the nuclear magnetic moment around an external magnetic field. The Larmor frequency is directly proportional to the applied magnetic field. With the increase in applied magnetic field strength, the Larmor frequency increases. Therefore, W omega naught equal to gamma V naught, where gamma is the proportionality constant called the gyromagnetic ratio or magnetogyric ratio. It is different for different proton, where omega naught is the Larmor frequency or angular frequency of uh, rotation. In terms of linear frequency, omega naught equal to 2 pi nu, we know from physics, omega naught equal to, it is the uh, angular frequency, it is the frequency of the frequency, linear frequency. There is a relation between angular frequency and the linear frequency. Therefore, on equating these two, gamma V naught equal to 2 pi nu, nu equal to gamma V naught by 2 pi. So what is uh, Larmor frequency? It is the frequency with which the nuclear magnetic moment precises around an external magnetic field. In NMR, the nuclear spin states are degenerate in the absence of magnetic field. Whereas, in the presence of magnetic field, these two levels are split. With the increase in field strength, the energy of splitting increases, as you see here. So, at lower field strength, Lower radio frequency energy is needed, whereas, for example, at higher field strength, we need R of radiation of higher frequency of higher energy are required. The advantage of using higher um, applied field strength is that the spectrum is more resolved at uh, higher frequency higher radio frequency, radio wave frequency and higher field strength, whereas uh, low, uh, low, low resolution NMR is obtained at uh, lower radio wave frequency and lower magnetic field strength.